Hi, welcome to Amanda Adams Auctions Overview for the auction on Sunday the 28th of February at 12 noon at 251 Jasper Road, McKinnon. And remember, our next auction will be live on Invaluable as well. So when you have a chance, have a look at our website, aaauctions.com.au. Uh, the catalogue, all the photos, everything will be online for this auction uh, about a week before the auction. I'm doing this solo today again and I'll walk you around the uh, auction room, give you an idea what's in the auction. Got numerous estates in for the auction as well. Uh, one from the failure. We're selling the Lillian Frank collection as well uh, from Melbourne. We're selling majority of items from Lillian Frank, Frank's apartment. Uh, so just walk around, give you a quick idea of uh, what we've got. We've got a huge stereo collection from an estate in Kew. Uh, all the items in the box are still unused. And I'll just walk around and just give you highlights of some of the things in the auction. Lots of furniture in the auction from the estate. Uh, lots of interesting art as well. Walk you around and if I see something I like or stands out, I'll call, uh, call that and tell you what's in here. Lots of good plateware, sterling silver. If you want to start your own fruit shop, this has come from a house in Malvern that used to be fruit trees. And there's the old cash register as well. Uh, we're selling things from uh, the owners of the Cuckoo restaurant as well. This is one of the paintings uh, from the house. This one here, there's another one in the other room. This is all uh, taxidermy from the estate in the failure. Some nice bronzes in the house, uh, from the house as well. Okay, lots of uh, character jugs. Uh, this is a continuation from the estate in Keelor. This is the last lot of that. Uh, these are interesting, the Blackamoors. These have come from Lillian Frank's uh, apartment. She loved those. Lillian's still alive in a nursing home, but still going well. Lots of sterling silver. Let's walk around the passage. Have a look around what else we've got. Uh, we've got a collection from Brighton as well. Chinese watercolours and, and on silk as well. I think there's about a dozen of them and a, a few of them really good artists. Look at these fantastic works by Charles Bush. Uh, two watercolours of Venice. Stunning works. In this auction, we have a lot of estate jewellery as well. Um, you can have a look online. There's a collection that's been sent down from Tasmania for us to sell. And lots of other uh, interesting jewellery bits. Uh, there's a huge um, coin collection from t uh, two estates. One from James Lee Estate, who used to be one of our long-term clients from uh, Briar Hill. We're selling his collection. A couple of older violins too. One's a, a Melbourne made violin from the 1920s so you'll be able to have a look on the catalogue um, what brands they are. Keep going around here. Early work by Leon Hansen. Big work. And there's a really nice work, I'll go back here, of Max Middleton. Also, this is also from the owners of the Cuckoo Restaurant. quality Victorian furniture and with price to sell there's very low estimates all unreserved so it has to be sold this has all come from the failure let's go to the front room now don't forget the viewing will be on uh, for this auction on Saturday the 27th uh, from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock at 251 Jasper Road McKinnon if you're interstate and you're coming down uh, a few days before, give us a call. We might be able to help you beforehand. Ah, uh, look at this. This I love this piece. This is an absolutely stunning uh, early 1900s Vienna coal painted bronze. Never seen this one before. This has come from a property in Brighton. Same property in Brighton, uh, early Lalique in the auction. That's a nice piece of Les Breakborough. And also Matilda Australian jug here. I think it's Diana Pottery. 
these are nice these have come in from the same property let's have a look these are by Peggy Crombie early works by Peggy Crombie some more interesting items here this is from uh, Lillian Frank collection this is the Melbourne Emirates Cup a presentation from 1996 there must have been something they might have been involved in the racehorse there lots of stamps here lots of ephemera in the auction and lots of silver as well in the auction some interesting pieces here uh, uh, this is Lenore uh, Boyd a couple of bronzes there as well some more scrimshaw, glossone sterling silver heaps of really interesting things lots of interesting retro furniture too this beautiful uh, rosando style sofa adjustable sofa let's have a look for some more sterling silver uh, continental silver pieces there a few pieces of antique ivory as well George Jensen silver now this is some of the uh, a large collection of coins in the auction coins Australian and world coins uh, banknotes and also stamps first day covers as well all unreserved all to be sold without reserve that's a nice work that came in too that was consigned uh, for, from our Bentley office by an Italian artist beautiful work so wherever you look throughout the auction it's a full house we're nearly 500 lots and so I think basically 95% um, of the items in the auction will be unreserved so don't forget uh, to have a look on the website and have a look at all the photographs online it's a beautiful Murano vase there other Italian pieces a Gucci a scarf in the original box original box ne never used Arabia enamel teapot so just have one more quick walk down the uh, middle of the auction room and you can see how full the auction room is and some really quality unusual items throughout the whole uh, every room of the auction house so don't forget to come and view us on uh, the 27th as long as there's no uh, uh, lockdown we'll be open for viewing and as long as there's no lockdown we'll be able to be open you'll be able to come to the auction as well if not if worst scenario you can always bid live on invaluable our site invaluable uh, auction site all the photos will be up a week before the auction so look forward to seeing you at the auction and hopefully uh, you stay safe in the meantime Thank you. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.